Good Saturday morning, everyone. Oh, I don't know why I started and then put this book back on that shelf, but it's Saturday morning. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm not sure when this is going to ever get thrown up or if, because I don't know how active vlogging I'm going to be this month. Um, but I just started Devil's Into Dust by Emma Burquist. I keep forgetting how to spell her name. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to try and work on this and hopefully I could finish it today. I'm, I've been, I'm, I'm overcoming and learning how to live with a BTS addiction. So I think I can try and get myself to like read during the day and then just like watch BTS videos at night for now. Um, but I have to film my September TBR video and my wrap up video for, um, for Sunday. And then I have to go grocery shopping because it was payday the other day and I'm super lazy when it comes to grocery shopping. So I will literally like pull like a single white dude living alone and not grocery shop until there's like only mustard and batteries in my <laughs> fridge. So I should probably go. <laughs> um, so I have to do a bunch of like grocery lists and figure out what I want to make this week and try and get back on track to stop eating carbs. I ate so much rice this week. Oh my goodness. Um, that is Saturday morning for you. Hi everyone. It is still Saturday. I actually got a buttload of done today though. But hi. And remember it's a long weekend because <laughs> I forget every two minutes. But um, I actually oh, got lots of grocery shopping done and then I, oh my god, come on, started and finished Devils Unto Dust today, which I actually really, really enjoyed this. I didn't think I was going to like it this much. So... Yeah, I really like that. Um, and so now I have to make food because I haven't eaten today. And now that I've finished a book, it's BTS time. That's how I'm literally trying to make myself function, is to just give myself a reward of BTS. Um, what? What? What is it? <laughs> so yeah, that's my super exciting Saturday. I'm just going to chill out this evening and making like I think what it's called but it's basically like a deconstructed egg roll so to cut out like the the wrap around it I'm gonna make it and see how it turns out hi right, so I'll talk to y'all later because lots of wants attention hi everyone it is Monday now um I don't know what the camera quality of this is gonna be like because I love my dogs but Watson is <sighs> destructive to say the least I got out of the car with him and he yanked me and my phone fell on the ground and shattered and it doesn't have a phone case on it yet because I only got it a week ago and my case is in the mail. So now I have a brand new week old phone with shattered screen everywhere. So, and naturally one of the shatters is across the camera on the front. So, I have to figure something out. Well, it's that's a problem for another day um but i finished dance of thieves a couple hours ago actually and if you like the remnant chronicles you're definitely gonna like this it was really good um well and i've had my hair like a human color for like two months now or so i think so i was just in a bad mood this past few days and tired so I, like, took a week off of diety stuff and just ate whatever the hell I wanted. And I felt really full and gross now, so I'm more eager to go back to, like, eating proper food tomorrow. Um, and I made a bunch of food, actually. I made butter chicken for the first time on my own, which was actually really good. And I'm having beef and broccoli tonight. But, yeah, so I'm going to finish dyeing my hair. And um, I finished, like I said, Dance of Thieves. I'm not sure what I'm going to start next. I'm kind of tempted right now by Scream All Night or Mirage. Mirage wasn't originally on my September TBR, but I don't know. I just look at it and I'm like, mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll get to Scream All Night and or Mirage this week. I'm going to start one of them tomorrow. And, um, oh wait, there's Charmcaster too. That's my plan for tonight is to just finish dyeing my hair. And pick three books, we'll say, that I'm going to actually read this week. But so far, so good all three days of the month now, and I've got two books done. So I finished Dance of Thieves, and what did I read on Saturday, buddy? Hey, I read something. Devil's Unto Dust. That's what I did. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure something out.
All right, so it's Tuesday morning after Labor Day. It's the first day of school here. For some reason, Sherlock won't get off the bed to go outside, right? So I just take Sherlock outside or Watson outside instead and come back. And I come back and Sherlock has a coat on now because, yup, that's right. There's freaking frost already. Hi everyone, I hope it's better visuals because I spent like $200 getting my phone repaired today. But it's repaired and that makes me happy because it's a brand new phone. Um, this morning though, I started Six of Crows and I just got to the start of chapter 10, which is page 134. And I'm already so freaking in love with it. Oh, I really, I know it was optioned off, but I like, I need to see a real life Taz. Like, I didn't know I should be totally honest, but Kaz is just such a bad, like, it's just like, he's a douchebag, emo-y magician, kind of. Street lord? I don't know how else to pronounce no. it. So good. So good. So, I'm just going to keep working on that. I don't know if I'll finish it tonight. If not, I'll finish it tomorrow. Um, And my library hold finally came in for... Oh, excuse me. Girl at the Grave by Terry Bailey Black. She's supposed to be one of the authors in, I want to say October, that's coming to the TBR and Beyond book group to do um, a live chat. But it just sounds really cool. There's like, I don't know how quite to explain it, but like, there's like weird things going on in a small town, I guess. So <laughs> it's the easiest way I can explain it. It's supposed to be historical fiction, I think. So I am I'm not sure when I'm going to get to it at this very moment. But like I said, I have a smaller TBR this month, so if it fits, then I can squeeze it in. And yeah, that's all I've done. So, oh, I don't think I should my hair. My hair is pink and purple on the bottoms again now. Ooh. I've never gone like three or four months like that where I just like left my hair alone since like, I don't know, I was like 10. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's probably lucky that I still have hair, to be totally honest, by this point. But yeah, so I'm going to eat some dinner and keep working on Six of Crows, and I'll check in if anything happens. Hi, everyone. Just wrapping up um, Tuesday night. I got to the start of Chapter 24, actually, which is page 295, which is, like, a good chunk. So I have, like, maybe a third left, so I can definitely finish that tomorrow. It's just so good. It's so good. I love this book. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Focus. The puppies. Uh, focus on fixing, finishing Six of Crows tomorrow, and then maybe... Yeah. Then I'll start reading Dirty Door. I'm so excited. It officially came out today. I'm so... Oh, I'm so excited for this book. But yeah, so that's been my actually productive... Tuesday, I got a lot of reading done. All right, so it is Wednesday evening. I <clears throat> finished Six of Crows earlier. It's so freaking good. Um, and then I cheated again on my diet. It's just been a week of this, basically. And I had pizza, because King of Donaire finally, well, I guess finally, they're like this big East Coast pizza place that I used to eat when I lived in Halifax. But I didn't have that over here. So, but they opened up a shop now randomly in my city, here in an Edmonton. So, I had pizza for dinner, and next, tomorrow, I'm definitely going to pick up Spindle Fire. I just looked at my shelf and was like, mmm, yes, Spindle. So, going to do my reread of Spindle tomorrow, or start it, at least. It's not, it's not super long, so as long as nothing major, oh, my book is, Spine's a weird color. As long as nothing major happens tomorrow, I can probably finish it or get close to it. So that is the plan. And a kingdom burns, a princess sleeps. There is no fairy tale. I'm so excited for this reread. Yeah. Everyone, hi. It is um Thursday, prop. Yeah, maybe Thursday. Um, I started Spindle Fire this morning, and I actually just whoops. Got to chapter, oh my good lord, 28, which is page 274. So I only have like, I don't know, 50-ish 
no, probably 80-ish page left, so I can definitely do that probably tomorrow morning before work, actually. So, that will be my plan. And I think that's all that happened. I just did lots of reading, and I think, actually, I'm very excited. My phone case, I think, is finally going to come tomorrow. It's taken forever. I don't know why Amazon's shipped it like that, but... I think it's finally going to be here tomorrow, along with my BTS album, because I'm one of those old people that still buys physical albums. So hopefully I will not have to spend another random $250 replacing a phone screen, because Watson wanted to lunge at something. So fingers crossed, and I can binge on BTS this weekend, like I did last weekend, and figure out what I'm going to read. I think I'm going to try to get on Hearty Print. Hunting Prince Dracula next. And then, yeah, maybe Catwoman this weekend? Hmm. I'm going to pick one of the, like, th or maybe Tyrant's Throne. That's a pretty thick one. Yeah, maybe I'll do Hunting Prince Dracula and then Tyrant's Throne. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, that's probably the plan, though. So, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi, everyone. It's Saturday um, evening. I don't think I vlogged yesterday if I didn't um I started or I didn't start I finished Spindle Fire yesterday and then I did the recording and that I needed to do today I still have to do a little bit more editing um but uh, I went and uh, I went and got one of my dogs groomed so he looks like a rat now hey Sherlock come here let's show your rat face now oh, looks like a rat um, but, uh, actually while I was waiting for that, I hung out at Starbucks, which I never do, and they have pumpkin spice lattes are back, so I cheated again on my diet and had some, which was really yummy. But I finished Hunting Prince Dracula, actually. I zoomed through this. I freaking love this book, and the ending is just so freaking adorable with Thomas and Audrey, and I'm just very excited for escaping, escaping from Houdini now. Um, oops, I guess that goes there now. Um, so I think I'm going to start Tyrant's Throne in the morning. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Tyrant's Throne. Yep. I'm just vibing it and it'll be really nice to get a series done. So cause I feel like I just keep rereading already open series or starting new ones. So <laughs> Tyrant's Throne is tomorrow's game plan to start. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it. I think it's like 600 and... Yeah, 600 pages, basically. So I don't think it's going to get read all tomorrow, but probably a good chunk. And yeah, that's all I did today. Hi, everyone. It's Sunday evening. I am just putting in the bookmark on Charmcaster. I got most of the way through it today, um, but I had to pause a couple times. And we had uh, Adrian Young, the author of Sky in the Deep, in the TBR and Beyond group tonight for a chat. So I had a couple things that I did today as well. So I actually got to page 306, the start of chapter 47. And I could definitely finish the rest of that tomorrow. And oh, yeah, Destiny has a dark side. And oh, I just love this series so much. Um... Yeah, so I ended up picking up this book instead of Sebastian de Castell's other book. But this is the one I went with, and I'm very happy with it. And so I'm definitely, that'll be my plan to finish this tomorrow. And to start, what do I want to start tomorrow? Maybe Grace and Fury? No, it's that's a short one. I have a couple days where I need short books. Um, I'll either start, no, yeah, I'll just do Crown of Midnight, actually. I'll start crying at midnight. Awesome. That is the plan. Thanks for helping me work that out. So yeah, um, that is the end of my day, and I will talk to you all tomorrow, hopefully. Hi, everyone. It is Thursday morning. I am just heading to work. But I am heading to work having just finished Shadow or Charmcaster. Why do I keep wanting to call it Shadowcaster? Charmcaster. So good. I'm so excited for Soulbinder. Oh, it's only a few months away. So yeah, I finished that, and... Hopefully, I can start Crown of Midnight after I get home from work. Hi, everyone. It is Monday evening. I just got back from work, and I'm making dinner right now. But I'm actually just putting the bookmark in on Crown of Midnight. I got to page 115, so I'm really happy with that. And hopefully, I can finish that tomorrow. I have some driving to do, so I'll bring my audiobook with me. Um, and hopefully, I can read a couple more chapters that way at least. And then finish it when I get home from work. Um, and I think that's it nothing came in the mail i think it's gonna be a pretty quiet week for that and i'm just like i said making dinner 
hopefully my butter chicken will be ready soon and I'm going to hang out with the dogs and, I don't know, watch some TV maybe. It's September 11th, y'all. Hi everyone, it is Tuesday afternoon, or evening, sorry, I'm back from work. Um, I just hit page, or not page, chapter 41 on Crown of Midnight, and that is page 312. Um, so I'm almost, probably have a quarter left, but I'm actually not feeling that great. So I'm going to put the bookmark in, put the bookmark in here and pass out early for bed. And hopefully I'm not coming down with something because it's a busy month and I can't be sick. So that is all I did today. And yeah. Hello, it is Wednesday the 12th, I think. Yeah. Um, I was going to do a ton of reading tonight. Got about halfway through my day and realized I forgot my brain from work brain. Or my my work brain schedule and I had to do like a bunch of overtime hours tonight so <laughs> I didn't get a ton of reading done but I am officially finished Crown of Midnight and that's going to go on the shelf here and I'm thinking next my library copy hasn't shown up but the audiobook is available to me so I'm gonna start Sea Fire by Natalie Parker tomorrow I'm still waiting on my copy of Sea Witch as well by Sarah Henney. I honestly don't know if I'm going to get it, so I may have to look for the audiobook. Um, only three libraries in our entire system have it on hold, and there's like 20 people in front of me online, so I don't think that's going to happen. So that's the plan. Hopefully I can start Sea Witch tomorrow um, and hopefully finish it by Friday. Or sorry, not Sea Witch, uh, Sea Fire. I'll give a couple more days, maybe more library copies will pop up on the other book um and yeah that's the plan so it's like 10 o'clock and I still haven't eaten dinner but I'm just too tired for life right now so wait I never eat lunch yet to get, um maybe I should eat okay I'm gonna hang out with the dogs and figure out how much energy I have to like eat as a human so yeah, I'll see y'all later. Hi everyone, it is um, Thursday evening, the 13th. Okay. Um, uh, oh, that was what I did. I started and finished uh, Sea Fire today, actually, by Natalie Parker. Um, and I'm not, uh, my copy of Sea Witch still isn't here, so I think I'm going to have to give up and sign the audiobook copy somewhere and buy it. Um, what else? Um, I think I'm going to start Mirage tomorrow morning. Hi. Um, it's also not a super long book, so I may be able to finish that tomorrow. Hi. Hi, everybody. So that is the plan. I'm just really excited about Mirage. I don't think it was technically on my TBR for this month, but I really, really, really want to read it. All right, folks, it is Friday. I am probably going to work on trying to finish Mirage. I just got to page the chair of chapter 17, so page 130. Which is actually almost the halfway mark, really, because it's not a big book. I'm really liking it so far. So I'm going to keep working on that. Um, I am just going to probably like be super chill tonight because it's the first like actual night off I've had in a while. But I'm so freaking excited. I ordered, like, it was insanely fast, actually. I ordered um, off of the BTS's, like, um, campaign that they had for love yourself and it was actually nice too because I think some of the funds went to UNESCO for like anti-bullying or children's welfare or something like that which is always cool but I literally ordered it this Saturday will be two weeks and it shipped from China and it's already here which is insane to me but in addition it was actually like not expensive either but I also got a bracelet came this is army and BTS and it has like their debut date on there too it's so f i i didn't know that was coming which is always fun and then i also got a little button or like pin thing with jimin on it <laughs> 
He's so freaking cute. I mean, them Jun's my bias, but Jimin's, I mean, they're all like bias wreckers though. But the real reason I order is because you get a, well, what I ordered was a sweater, long sleeve. Woo! Go away. And it's black and it says love yourself on the chest because that's the name of like their trilogy. And then it's got these like really, really pretty designs on the arms. And then the back has like the BTS logo. I'm definitely going to wash it tonight and wear it tomorrow. I'm so excited. Yeah, hopefully I can finish Mirage tonight. And I think I'm going to try and put some time in this weekend to editing the vlog. And I'll see how long it is and I may just throw it up whenever I get a chance to finish editing it. And I have to just, I, I don't even know how many videos I have prepped for Tuesday, so I have to look that up. And tomorrow I definitely have to film my weekly wrap up. And I'm actually really happy with the amount of reading I got done this week, even with how insane work was. And yeah, so I think I have the Tuesday video already done. I have to, like I said, double check that. But yeah, so just going to keep working on Mirage fangirl about some bts stuff and you probably don't even care because it's not really book related but i don't know they invaded us anyways so might as well join them <laughs> all right so it's friday night nine o'clock i still haven't eaten yet but i finished mirage and i have emotions about this book those emotions are only going to be helped when the sequel comes out so, I mean, by the time this vlog goes up, though, my review will probably be up. So, whatever. It was really good. I'm kind of in love with this. And I've never... The, it's not big, though, but I am so into these characters and the romance. Oh, I'm so for it. I don't like myself cheesy romances, but I'm very here for this one. But yeah, so that is Friday reading. I, I'm feeling Catwoman right now. Maybe I'll start Catwoman tomorrow. Um, or maybe Tyrant's Throne, or maybe these Rebel Waves. I'm being very indecisive. Um, but yeah, so I'll figure that out in the morning. I have a bit of filming and organization and stuff to do tomorrow, so. Oh, man, Mirage, so good. All right, so it is Saturday the 15th, I think. I'm saying the dates just because it's probably going to be like a month-long vlog, but... Um, today I actually, <laughs> I've had the arc for this book since like January, no, February, I got it at a conference I think, and I've been insanely excited for this book, but I like, just like, I put it on my TBR several months and I just like legit never got to it, so I finally actually freaking read These Rebel Waves today. I got my finished, whoop, this precious arc, and I got my finished copy here. I'm so happy I have the arc and I didn't trade it away, because oh my god, I freaking loved this book. The last, like, third of the book had me, like, perpetually, like, shook it. Like, I just, it was so freaking good. And originally I was like, wow, she announced the sequel, like, so fast. Like, calm down, people. But I read this and I was like, no, that is not fast enough. I need to know. I hate myself for, like, putting it off reading for, like, I don't know, was it nine months or something like that? Like, what the hell is wrong with me? So, yeah. I mean, I'll talk about it in my review video, but... I mean, Snow Like Ashes is, like, one of my all-time favorite trilogies, like, ever. Freaking love that. And I, of uh, all, like, each, hmm, that whole series, I think I like the first book best, the third book second, and then the second book last. They're all really good, though. But, like, this is better than all of them. Like, it was just so freaking good. But, whoo! Oh, precious arc. Taking a hit. Um, but now that I'm done... This Rebel Waves. Like, I already want to reread it, people. Like, so if you figured out that we have similar reading tastes at this point, pick it up. Plus, the cover is freaking cool. Um, tomorrow, though, I am going to start Catwoman Soul Stealer. Hopefully, I can finish it, too. I think it's actually a little bit shorter than these Rebel Waves. I'm really excited about that. And I always fly through Sarah J. Mass. So, yeah. That is the plan. And um, maybe I'm going to watch a movie tonight. I don't know. It's like 8.30 and I kind of want coffee right now. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah. So. Oh, and I got to wear my, I wore my BTS sweater today. It says love yourself. And I actually had someone walk up to me in the grocery store and was like, hey, ARMY! And I was like, who, who are at first I thought they were saying a name and I took like, my headphones like sorry what and they're like ARMY like you're BTS and I was like oh 
yeah hi stranger i love that people do that with fandoms like i've been in toronto and like i have like doctor who earrings on and people come up to me like random strangers on the street and you're like who's your favorite doctor like i like i, I like david Tennant best blah blah, blah blah or when they're i have a harry potter shirt on they're like oh what house are you a part i love that we have that world um but yeah so that's what i've done i'm gonna watch a movie and chill out and have a pretty stereotypical night for me hi everyone it is um tuesday the 18th i think um i'm just putting i haven't vlogged i think the last few days but i can't remember when i last did but i started and finished uh catwoman soul stealer on sunday actually and i didn't get a ton of reading done yesterday i had an extra long work day which is why my eyes are all puffy um and so i started a little bit of air fire and i just did a bit more reading on it so i'm at chapter 18 which is the start of or the start of chapter 18 so page 137 oh my god my eyes are already watering Ugh. um so yeah i'm just gonna keep working on that and today was the release for a couple big books i'm super excited i was expecting just because of how big it the release really seems to be everywhere I look that my store would get escaping from Houdini, but they didn't, so I have to order it online. This is why physical stores are dying, because I can't, they don't bring in any inventory here. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, order escaping from Houdini online, I guess. Um, and Iron Flyer came out today, actually. I'm so excited. My audiobook got delivered, because I pre-ordered the audiobook. But my friend... Um, where is it? My friend Amanda, it lives in the U.S., um, and there's always author tours near her, so she always goes to them, and Laura Forrest is doing one there, so she's going to get me a signed finished copy because I have the ARC signed, um, but yeah, so I'm so excited. I'm going to reread this now that I have, actually, maybe for, like, around christmas Eve time or whatever, I'm maybe going to reread Light Mage, and then I'll reread, maybe I'll just reread them all, Marathon. <laughs> It's been like a hot minute since I read The Black Witch, so maybe that's what I'll do. But yeah, so I'm going to keep working on Air of Fire when I get home from work. And yeah. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday night. I am about to pass out, but I got uh, about a third of the weight in on Air of Fire today, which is good. Hi. Um, and I had like a... I don't know, just like a not good day, I guess. So I went to the bookstore because I was going to go grab Escaping from Houdini. I was so excited. For some reason, my bookstore doesn't carry, didn't didn't order it, let alone, or didn't carry it, let alone even order it. So I've just kind of given up on my bookstore, sadly. It's the only, like, physical bookstore we have in town that has any releases. So I guess I just have to buy everything off online now, which is sad because I really enjoy being able to go and, like, browse and grab books, but apparently just live too far north, I guess, to have an actual bookstore, which is kind of depressing. Um, but I did while I was there the last book, because I didn't want to leave it at a book to say, like, farewell to the store, I guess. Because it's just, like, it's such a waste of time and gas money to go over there every single time. Because, I mean, for the longest time I didn't go, and they're like, oh, because you can see on the Indigo website, like, if it's in stock at your store. And every single time I, they, they, I'll go in later and they're like, oh, don't, don't, don't even look at that. Sometimes it's just like really out of date or it hasn't been updated or they're on the shelves and we just haven't updated the online stock. But it's just like they just like legitimately don't ever carry books and they just want you to go to the bookstore and spend money on books that you like have absolutely no interest in. Like it's just pointless and I don't even understand how they still exist because everyone says the same thing that they literally always go in and they never have any books there. So they just tend to leave. And then buy everything online, which is depressing. But I did pick up, um, my friend, um, Amanda has, um, got an arc of it a couple days before the release. It was, like, there was no marketing for it. But the book is in the living room, and the living room is just so far away right now. But I picked up a copy of The Lost, The Lost Queen by Sing Pike. It's, so, it's blurbed as Outlander meets Camelot. And I was like, all right, you've got my interest. And then it was an adult paperback book. So... Those seem like it was only 20 bucks, which was actually pretty cheap. Especially considering City of Ghosts. Is it City of Ghosts or what's the Schwab's new middle grade one? It was $25. I know it was a hardcover, but it's a middle grade book, guys. Like, $25? Really? Like, yikes. 
So I ended up getting that instead, and that was my buy indigo. You're the only bookstore up here, and you don't carry books, so I guess I'm just going to have to order everything off Amazon. That's my best part, though, when they try and be like, sorry, we don't have it, but you can buy it on our online. Shipping is free, but it takes seven days uh, to get to you, or you can get, um, you can ship it for the, to the store for free, but it take it'll come up, like, with the next shipment, so it'll be, like, another week. I'm like, but I can get it on Amazon for, like, the same price, and it gets to my house in two days, and they're like, yeah. And you're just gonna stare at you, like, oh, okay, all right, then. Well, so, that's sad. I, I just missed, I missed doing that as a kid. I know this is gonna get, like, a long video, but, like, I miss doing that as a kid of going to the bookstore and being like, no, this sounds really cool because I go to the bookstore now. I'm like, I literally own basically all these other books because they're like three years old or they only have the paperback copies of them. And I'm like, nah, I want the hardcover because I have the other ones in hardcover. So I guess I have to order that offline. It's just sad because I, I loved getting to do that. And they just, for some reason, don't carry inventory, I guess, up here. So um, I did a bit of reading of Bear Fire. I got the new book today. It did work. And actually just got back from going to see Crazy Rich Asians again because it's Tuesday cheap night again. So that brings my total to four times. <laughs> Hi guys, it's um, Wednesday afternoon. I um, actually ended up staying home from work today because I'm feeling not great and kind of burnt out. Um, but on the upside, I was able to read Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass or finish reading it. So I finished that. I was kind of scared because I feel like it took me almost like three days or so to read this and I've never... That's, like, very long for me. I mean, I was busy doing a bunch of stuff, but it was very long. I was like, oh, God, if I only read one book this week, I'm going to be so disappointed. Um, but I finished it, which is awesome. And this, I mean, I mentioned the book in the vlog yesterday, but this is the book I was talking about. It's The Lost Queen by Sing Pike. It said Outlander meets Camelot. And, oh, oh, oh my good Lord, come here. Ugh. And it's blurbed as already being compared to Outlander in the Mist of Avalon. This spellbinding debut introduces Langworth, a forgotten queen of 6th century Scotland and twin sister of the man who inspired the legend of Merlin. Which sounds pretty cool to me. I'm so excited to give this a go. Hopefully it's good. The few people I've heard of that have read it, no one that I really know, have said that they liked it. So hopefully I do end up liking it. If not, it was only 20 bucks, which isn't terrible for an adult book. It has, like, deckled edges, too. I'll always like that. But, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm always excited when a book, whoops, long shelf, gets paired compared to Outlander. So, that's promising for me. And, um, I had actually never heard of Mist of Avalon until a couple of years ago. I think it's just because of my age. And then I heard of it because of everything bad that the author has done. So, I'm hoping that's an aspect that is not incorporated into this book. Um, but I'm going to start, um, I'm, depends how I feel. I'm going to take a nap now and we'll see how I feel afterwards. Um, but I'm going to start Dare You to Lie next. And it's not big and it's a thrillery mystery. So I might be able to just like read it um, tomorrow um, after and before work. If not, I can definitely get it done by the end of Friday, which I'll be very happy with despite panicking that I had only read, that'll be the fourth book. So I'll be very happy with that. So, yeah, does that, and I don't think I have anything coming in the mail today. Um, I have pre-order swag for The Caged Queen. Um, woo, there you go. Pre-order swag for The Caged Queen coming eventually. I'm not sure when, um, but that's, I think, and I ha oh, I have to order Escaping from Houdini, too, in the next couple days. Um, but that is the plan, and I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try my hardest, I promise, to do some editing. I just never got a chance to do it this last weekend. Um, to edit the vlog, because it's like 20 days worth of vlogs, basically. Which, they're not super long each day, because I haven't been doing tons of buying, but still. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi, everyone! It's Thursday the 20th? I want to say 20th. We'll say 20th. Um, I'm super excited. My arc for Song of the Dead came in from Sarah Glenn Marsh. She's actually really sweet. She's in the TBR and Beyond group. And I messaged her saying I was trying to get an arc. I wasn't having any luck through work. I was trying to use it for a session, an arc, a physical arc to physically show. Because I'm doing um, a session at a conference for you know, YA recommendations. And this is going to be one of them. So I'm excited. It's here so I can use it for that. And then I'm going to read it. And the cover is so pretty. And I'm, like, obsessed with the first book. And I, like, hardcore regret letting someone else 
that really wanted the arc taking the arc because now I would have had like both finished copies and both art copies. That's too bad, but that's okay. Um, but I did that, and I started reading Dare You to Lie. Oh my god. On this day, this glorious, wonderful day of September 20th, 2018, the day after BTS, I think, at the day after, BTS arrived in Canada, Kristen Bell confirmed that Hulu's doing at least an episode, eight episode revival of Veronica Mars, and oh my god. I hardcore actually cried in my office. I was so excited. So, I mean, I don't regret anything. I scared some co-workers, but I don't regret anything. I'm so excited for that. Um, And so I've been working on Dare You to Lie. Hardcore Veronica Mars vibes. I actually accidentally referred to her already twice as Veronica rather than... <laughs> I think her name's Kaylee. Oh my god, open! Kyleen. But I just got to chapter 19, which is page 159. So it's almost halfway. And I'm going to put the bookmark in. I'm going to finish this tomorrow. It's just so hardcore good. And I want to, like, bath in this glory that I'm pretty sure I have, like, a superpower that I started this. And then, like, literally a few hours later, they're like, yeah, yeah, we're on the commerce, coming back. I'm just saying that I have superpowers or something. Hi, everyone. It is Friday. Um... I just finished Dare You to Lie by Amberlynn Natush, and oh, I'm so excited for Veronica Mars is coming back. Even if it only gets the eight episodes that was ordered, I don't even care. It's eight more episodes. Um, my library hold came in of City of Ghosts by V.E. Schwab because I, I've enjoyed her stuff. However, I, and I like middle grade. However, I'm not like a big fan of like horror -y, gothy stuff. Um, and I also think it's kind of insanely expensive, almost like, what was it, 25 or $30 at the bookstore for it? Like, that just seems kind of high for me. Maybe it's the, a specific publisher that I keep noticing that on. I know Tor is, like, notoriously, like, $5 more expensive per book here. This is Scholastics. Why is it so expensive? I don't know. So, if I like it, then I'll keep an eye on something like Book Outlet. I just... Yeah, that seems insanely pricey. So, I got that. So, this is going to be my October TBR. And then, my goodie pre-ordery stuff came in from Kristen Cicerelli for The Caged Queen, which comes out next Tuesday, I think. I think it's next Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. Hi. All right. So, the first thing that came in the pre-order bag for The Caged Queen was a thank you card. And, woo! Oh my goodness. Dear reader, thank you for pre-ordering The Caged Queen. I can't begin to tell you how much your support means to me, so instead I'll tell you a story. The year before The Last Amsara hit shelves, I was terrified. Never in my life have I ever known that kind of fear, the kind that prohibits you from sleeping or having conversations or thinking logically. I was scared that no one would like this book I'd written, or worse, everyone would hate it. I was scared no one would buy it. I was scared my publisher would regret taking a chance on me and cancel all my subsequent books, and this dream of mine would come shattering down around me. I lived with this fear inside me until October 4th, 2017, the day The Last Nimsara came out, and then all of a sudden the love and support <laughs> flew in and kept, us, kept on flowing. Readers sent me messages and letters and begged and tagged me in beautiful photos of my book. Ever since I've been able to be myself again and no longer ruled by fear. I've been able to write without dread and instead with joy and gratitude. And you are the reason I can't tell you what a gift that is. In an attempt to give back a little of what you all have given to me, I've put together this package. I hope you like it as well as The Caged Queen, a book I wrote with a head full of fear and revised with a heart full of hope. So thank you. I couldn't do this without you. Love. Kristen. That's very sweet. And I actually got a chance to meet her for like 20 seconds. Um, last January, she was uh, one of the authors that did a signing at the OLA Super Conference. So I got the last name Sarah signed. And she's actually doing tour dates in Canada. Unfortunately, they're all on the East Coast because she lives on the East Coast now. And so I'm kind of SOL, but whatever. She's Canadian. Still like to support that. And there's this beautiful map. The paper quality is actually quite nice. It's all glossy. New Haven Lancy for guard. I'm very curious about this. And I'm curious because the Cage Queen, I think, is supposed to be companion, not necessarily like a sequel. And oh, it's pretty. So we got 
Ooh, whoop. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. Character poster for Roa. Kills for love. Then there is Aisha fights for freedom. Um, and tomorrow I'll do my regular um, wrap up video. I don't know what the next few weeks are going to be like. Um, I got a second job, so hopefully it's not going to be two hours. It's just supposed to be one or two shifts max every week, but we shall see because I've heard that before at other part-time jobs. So, yeah, I'm going to chill out and hang with the dogs tonight and maybe we will watch some Veronica Mars for all I know after finishing Dirty Little Who knows? But, yeah. Come on. Time to go pee. Come on, get out of bed. You're worse than I was as a teenager. Come on. Come on, little burrito. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go outside. Come on.